Hi, do you ever make the situation that you need to set up network quite far from your main router, let's say about 1000 feet? You probably need multiple network ports so you can connect all your IP devices, such as IP camera, SS1, PC computer to the network. The fear solution is you can bring this switch to the new location and use the CAT5E or CAT6 Ethernet cable to connect this switch to a main router. But the problem is the TCP IP only allows you to use about 300 feet between this switch and the router. If the distance is beyond 300 feet, the data starts dropping. You are breaking the TCP IP protocol. Recently, we received inquiry from customers who need a long run from the router to the new location. Now, let's just move to the right ball and see what is the situation we are dealing with now. Here's the case. The customer got a styling in the main house to receive the internet from the satellite. So he got an internet accessing in the main house. Now he wants to bring the network to the new location. It's about 1,000 feet. He can place the switch in the new location, but the problem is the distance. As we mentioned, if the distance is beyond 300 feet, the data will start dropping because we are breaking the TCP IP protocol. Now let's just move to the workshop and see what is equipment we need to solve this problem. This is 1,000 feet CAFIE Ethernet cable. We have PoE standard adding on both sides. What does this PoE standard do? It will make sure we are not breaking TCP IP protocol. Remember, the TCP IP only allows us to use about 300 feet. Now we are working on 1,000 feet. We need two of these because one will take care of the signal sending to the remote side and the other will return the signal from the new location. Okay, now let's move to the router. We also need this injector. This is the PoE injector. The PoE injector will add the power to the KFI Ethernet cable, so these two PoE standards can get the power. This is the electronic product. You need the power, right? You don't need the power source around this PoE standard. The power just sends through this PoE injector through this Ethernet cable. And we have connected the data port to the router, so you got both power and data through this cable. And let's move to the edge, the new location. And this is the outdoor PoE switch. It has totally a port. This outdoor PoE switch has one critical feature to implement this system. It can be powered by another PoE injector or PoE switch. You see, there's no power source linking to this switch. And the camera is connecting to this switch and now the camera is live, which means the PoE injector is supplying the power for these two PoE standards. PoE switch and also the PoE IP camera. So the system is working, but you may wonder what about the power source? Is it enough? It depends. This is 90 watt PoE injector. With this setup, we could have about 45 watt from this outdoor PoE switch. If you just connect multiple high power, like a Pentium zoom camera to this switch, it will not work. But the power source should not be the problem because we do have the power source and the new location. There's another thing, can we just use the regular switch, not the regular PoE switch, not this switch with PoE power feature? It also will have the problem. You see, in the standard PoE solution, they always have power handshaking. Before this PoE injector can send the power to the edge, it needs to classify and verify the edge device also can take in the power. In this case, it will be this outdoor PoE switch. Like we mentioned at the beginning, one of these ports can be power by another PoE injector. That means it's a PoE device. So if you just use the regular switch at the edge, then this PoE injector will ne not send the power. So if it doesn't send the power, this PoE standard, these two don't get the power. The whole link is not going to be up. It will be not working. So it's very important you use the PoE power switch at the edge, or you can add a PoE splitter after this PoE standard. It also will work. Alright, that's all for today's video.